Parents have been testing me with lots of questions about imaging tests like x-rays and CAT scans and whether the radiation from these tests is more of a risk than a benefit of getting the test itself. Well, let me give you all the proper picture on imaging tests and radiation. Imaging tests like x-rays and CAT scans allow us to see inside the body and find out what's wrong with your child, but do use radiation to do so. Radiation that if exposed too often enough has been linked to an increased risk of getting cancer later in life. Not that cancer will definitely occur as a result of an imaging test or tests, but no one wants to increase their risk if they don't have to. Most importantly, no imaging test should ever be used in place of other safer ways for your doctor to try first to make that diagnosis, such as by taking a careful history of your child's illness, then examining him or her, and possibly ordering a blood or urine test. If despite this information, an imaging test is still needed, then it's important to choose the test wisely in terms of the one that will result in the highest yield of a diagnosis, but with the least amount of side effects or risk. The American Academy of Pediatrics is a member of a multi-organizational group called the Alliance for Radiation Safety and Pediatric Imaging, who want to make sure patients ask about and healthcare professionals follow four steps when thinking about getting an imaging study. First, we should only consider an imaging test that uses radiation if there is a definite medical benefit. Second, we should use the lowest amount of radiation for the test based on the size of a child, a concept we call imaging gently. Third, we need to image only the part of the body that needs to be evaluated. And fourth, we should use ultrasound and MRIs, which don't involve radiation, instead of x-rays and CAT scans whenever possible. It's also important to note that the radiation risk in a single x-ray is exceedingly low, about what you would absorb from the sun's cosmic radiation on a three-hour airline flight, which is almost none. So that hopefully, tips like these will radiate in your mind when it comes to knowing what to ask about the next time you or your child's healthcare professional is considering an imaging study that involves the use of radiation for your child. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to image gently and to always be first with your kids.